Hey guys and welcome back to my City Builder channel here on YouTube. I'm Ben and again I'm here today for a second time. Um, in the last episode we I built this area added in like a, a regular train station so no transport hub like over here um, and I built in this kind of amusement park let's say um, down there so that people can enjoy them say uh, themselves and have a bit of a vacation um, and if you've watched the last episode episode i think 17 so right now we are having episode 18 I was wondering whether it's possible to have hotels being placed here and I figured out um, as soon as you're having this after dark expansion which is actually something I do have and you reached a certain level of your town let me see if I already reached it uh, maybe I haven't reached that yet Metropolis, Megapolis, well I should be able to, let me check, I should be able to use or get hotels, um, yeah I'm just, just curious where, or if I can, f can find this out. Mm, 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 mm. let me see so yeah I definitely have to figure that out whether I can get hotels by placing like commercial zones within um, those specific um, Ah, there was one thing I remembered from reading. Let me have a look, because there is some kind of leisure specialization. So maybe, let me think, maybe I have to restructure here something, or at least a bit. Erase park area, so I want to have this being gone as this has nothing to do with the other park specializations that I want to have here in that strip and let me see whether um of course most commercial zones are active 24 7. no office default state it cluster okay i should have an it cluster sometime soon self-sufficient buildings non-residential specialization so i'm i'm just trying this out i think tourism attracts tourists so maybe that already works and does what I actually need so I'm going to delete you guys for now and see what happens from over there I'm just beating things up now and see what kind of businesses are actually coming back Best sweat gym, bottled water bar, another best sweat gym, seaside refreshments, bottled water bar, seafood joint. So again, um, and let 
me check something else in addition to that. I just want to make sure that I'm able to understand what's happening here at choose bar. And here, uh, there the residence is. Okay, I understood. So this is purely tourism here. So now I have to have a look what happens to this here. I want to have that moving up here. Um, and I also want this to be extended to as far as possible. And then I'm adding in a few more. So what are you telling me? Are you not getting any warm water? Are you not? Really? Am I having a warm water issue? Oh, that would be ridiculous. Let me check. So warm water facilities. I have no warm water either. So what actually happened here? Have I removed at some point in time? No, not really. Let me let me check it quickly. Because I have to make sure that this is a boiler station. Geothermal heating plant. Or oh, there, there it is. There's the geothermal plant here. So I have to add it in here. And yeah, you're getting a second one. I don't mind. All good. All good. But we are still having enough water, I guess. So I only want to make sure that on the one hand there is no let's say day night cycle it's something I didn't want to have I want to add in a couple of more lights to make sure that you can see everything that it looks nice and tidy. That looks kind of beautiful. Okay, weather, rain, fog. So there's no fog, no weather. Mm, okay, so let's leave it like that. And to make sure that people are not annoyed of having to deal with the um, issue as issue of a lot of no noise pollution. I'm adding in uh, loads of woods over here. I'm just removing those that are not looking that nice due to the pollution thingy. Even those over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you can, you can come back at any time. So I'm making sure that this doesn't over pollute my residential areas with any noise. And from that standpoint, I'm also adding in a couple of trees over here, just to make sure that it's as quiet and as cozy as possible, because that will 
lower my noise pollution significantly. I'm sure of that. So this has to change here. I don't want people to suffer from that kind of noisy, noisy thing here. That's something I wanted to improve anyway during one of my last episodes, but you can see it's already getting way brighter over here. So I'm planting trees like, like crazy. I'm going to beautify that at a later stage, I'm sure. So less noise pollution over there, and less noise pollution over here, less over there, less over here. Much less just plant a couple of trees. So less pollution. Less noise pollution again. So I'm curious why are people parking here when they shouldn't be parking there? But yeah, I know I haven't prohibited that. Yeah, for sure not. Um, so this is fine. This is fine. So now I think we can add in. So we have one more additional academic works in the Lila College of Liberal Arts. We have two other academic works for our other college. And then we are, I think we should be adding in a few more residential options over here. If that wasn't a bridge, we could do that. So let me think. I'm pausing this game for now. And I think with this last turn, I should already be able to Lower that to almost ground level. Not to minus three. Yeah, we lowered it to the ground level already. So this is good. So what's in here? There is enough room for me to add um, some high-rise residential things in the hopes that some hotels will be located here sooner or later. Ah, no, let's not waste this tree and this forest here for no reason. So as you can see, when you have this extension installed for city skylines in those specific areas or zones, you're able to get wonderful and beautiful and nice like residencies, hotels. Um, so I think for me, it's it's really good right now. It's a tourism building. Yeah, we'll be earning a bit more money, um, which is actually nice and actually what I intended to have here. And regarding the Beachwood Park, 
let me see that. So I want to have Okay, night tours being available. Mm. Okay. And I also want to have a look because I remember we had, we received an upgrade the last time. We have in the souvenir shop, we have in the restrooms. We have this carousel, I think. The piggy train and rotating teacups. Well, let's start with the rotating teacups and continue with the piggy train. That's really nice. So there are still a couple of things I'm adding in um, a bench. So let me check here, the same old one, like over here. Yeah, I want people to be comfortable in these kind of parks. It's still nice to have the option to sit down at some point and yeah, enjoy your time. Like. And what else can we do? Like adding in such a round picnic table, maybe here a group. And we should also utilize this here at the restaurant. We could have a balloon thing, maybe some child play thingies some purple another children's ride over there coin game well, another coin game would be nice but maybe at a different spot so here is good and a couple candy stand would be nice as well. Good, so we are good to go from here. I would like to say, yeah, people are coming in, so this is a good attraction for my city so far. Our income is partially increasing, partially decreasing. We just have to um, wait and see what happens. So I remember that we had a couple of issues with this building, or at least now let's say with that crossing, um, as, let me see, um, as as you can see, there is loads of traffic piling up and I, in general, do not like traffic piling up in my city area or within the city limits. I don't really like that. Um, so I'm trying to, or thinking about relocating this building um, from over there you see okay and this building from over there to over here unfortunately a car I have to no that's not not the problem actually um, no, unfortunately, I I have to get rid of some of the trees here. 
something I honestly didn't want to do, but doesn't really help. And because um, I have to take care of this crossing with a roundabout as soon as possible. And I want to make sure that the traffic flows nicely here as well. Okay, so this is supplied now. Now it's getting interesting. Can we do? Yeah, let's plan it. I think we can. So let's just get rid of that. This, 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 this for now, this and this. And again, my and I think everybody's, everybody else's method. Um, seven units up, seven units down seven units left and seven units right and we have perfect circle and for that thing i'll need a four lane i assume or at least it would be very convenient to have a four lane like highway turning in ah. sorry Getting rid of that. So perfect roundabout again. We can delete these and just have to reconnect this with that. Oh, but it's still wrong. Ah, let me see. Is it a different type of road? Yeah, probably it is. Probably it is. I'm not using the roundabout. Well, I'm just wondering where my lane picking thing is. Um, ah, I know where the problem was. So over here, now we should be fine connecting this connecting this and connecting this mm, with that we could even go a bit more let's say conservative and have a two lane regular road over here people will like it definitely now we are taking care of the lane management thingy as always this is the only lane that's the only lane here only lane there you can choose whether you want to go left or right so you go there you go there, you go there, and you go there, you go there, and you go there. So, and then we are almost finished already. You go here, you go there, you can go here. And why have I used not a four lane, but a three lane only? Let's upgrade you and you, you and you. I think that's better to work with in that case. So again, choosing this. Choosing that, choosing 
this, you can come in here. And now off you go, off you go, straight on, straight on. And you guys can come in. And I think that's almost it, I'd assume. We don't need this, we need this here, this here, and that here, and I think then we're almost like gone. Then I'd like to change the pedestrian crossings here, allowed, nothing over there, and nothing over here, those trees definitely get rid of these as they shouldn't be growing on the road. Then we have the last thing here is adding in this. It's always that I want people within the roundabout to be able to move faster independent or independently of the situation on the incoming road. So for them, it does mean a little bit of waiting, but as soon as it flows, mm, usually it's easy to just wondering why these guys are stuck in here. Mm, maybe, yeah, I know why these are stuck in here. So you can move in. You may move in. Okay, now I also know what that sign means. I think it's do not take care whether the whether you're blocking the crossing or not. So that's looking pretty good. It's looking better than before, even though it's really, really busy. Okay, those venues don't have water. I'm gonna take care of that immediately. Sorry guys for letting you wait that long. That wasn't my intention. So we are good, good, good to go from here. <clears throat> yeah, so much traffic going on. Really a lot of traffic here. I have to admit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know we don't have any additional public transportation so far. So there's not a lot of things we can do about that at the moment, except for adding bus lines to certain locations. And maybe that's something I should definitely consider. Let me just check and see whether it's possible that we add in a few more maybe one or two more bus lines. So, yeah. Where do we need you guys coming in? Is this kind of a transport hub here? We have
no, maybe we're not doing that now. Let me just check. I haven't added a bus line here. So I want some kind of convenience for people to work at the ore mine in case they want to. I at least want to offer them the convenience to do so. And even at the farm. Then let's close it. Yeah, that's looking good. So what have we got? We have not a lot of citizens or people already using the train because there is no additional train station available right now, but I might be considering to add one in to over here through the wood, I think, through the forest. I think there has to be a train station in the near future. So taking care of those little things and showing you how to achieve the build of residencies or hotels or, yeah, those are all for Probably for, I don't know, all the way, Myrtle, Walnut, they all look very hotel-y, I'd like to say. So good for a touristy area. Um, a nice place to stay overnight and I would like to say, because you have some kind of amusement over there, you can kind of easily go to the city, go to downtown. Um, if you want to see more of my Westfield area. So I think that's good for, for this episode. In the next episode, I'm trying to make sure that I'm meeting the demand of industrial and well, commercial zones instead of residential zones. I have to make sure that our city keeps growing and probably, possibly we are able to reach the 30,000 or 3,200 mark already next time. So I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks again for joining in. I would be happy if you could follow me here on YouTube, bookmark my channel the City Builders channel and leave me a like, leave me a comment whenever you have any concerns or questions regarding City Skylines in that case. Let me know. I'll try to help you as best as I can. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye bye.